there. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is... I was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? Elena, it's just me. Yes, of course. It's good to see you again, Roderick. Please. So, here we are. How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. Honestly, I feel fine. I may not look pretty, but I'm still myself. I'm sure it's worse than that. I know you too well. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I am... Um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Nothing to worry about. They're just guests. Guests? The White Hills? It's complicated. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. And I was inclined to agree with him, until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you know why Lady Marjorie would send this to me? She and I have never corresponded. Mira must have asked her to intervene. I didn't know your sister carried such influence. You act as if you had no part in this. I feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what you want? Would you do that to me? You have no choice, Elena. How dare you? I don't deny the politics, but I am no slave. Father would never force my hand, and you won't either. If that angers the Tyrells, so be it. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore... You're not still marrying into this wretched family. That is none of your concern. 
Oh, I beg to differ. You can do much better than this cripple. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So... If you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. By the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... To be shamed in your own hall. In front of your own family and advisors. I'll have my revenge. I hope so. I really do. My lord, are you well? This fight isn't over. Not even close. 